lot of information out there on soft tissue therapy throughout the years, but with regards to specifically understanding the mechanism, I th believe that anybody in our profession would agree that uh, mechanotransduction has to be understood, right? That's kind of where we are in the understanding of what we're doing. So the question is, is that where are we with regards to the research on mechanotransduction? And is there enough of it to negate? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I always think back to Einstein, and if he gave out one of those thought experiments, like the one on the train when he's observing the person as they yep. work, but imagine he's, he, you know, he, he goes next door to his colleague's office and he goes, hey, look at this. And, and he explains the thought experiment. And then that guy goes on to PubMed or whatever the hell they had back there, back then, which is nothing close to PubMed. And, you know, he, he writes in the thought experiment, presses enter, and he doesn't see a paper on it. Yeah. And he's like, sorry, Albert, all that shit's, uh, it's not, it's not, it's not evidence-based. Yeah. Right? And then, yeah. and then that would have been it. You know what I mean? So speak to that with regards to the concept of mechanotransduction, which for people who are not manual therapists, we're, we're speaking about how your, how your tissues respond when you're being, let's say you're getting a massage or you're getting any kind of soft tissue work. Mechanotransduction is, is discussing the propagation of force through the tissue and the effects of the transduction of that force on the tissue. So what do we yeah. know? <laughs> Sum it up. Well, I'll start by saying this, is that <clears throat> We know, I, I, this is going to sound very oxymoronic. Uh, oxymoronic. We know, yeah, we know a lot. We know a lot about mechanical transduction. We know a lot about the process of it. We know a lot about what, what we think is happening. We know a lot about the players involved about mechanical transduction. But in, the, but in all of that, we know very little in terms of, of, how that, you know, applies to a, uh, a bigger concept and how that, you know, potentially applies to uh, what we do. And, and the reason is, is just because, uh, and, and again, this is, you know, I hate to keep saying we've talked about this, we've talked about this, but this is something that we've, we've talked about as well. Like, you know, in manual therapy, we, we, don't have, we don't have a large pool of evidence to pull from. I mean, manual therapy evidence has been around for, you know, what, 40 years, maybe 50 years. Um, and, you know, in looking at all of that soft tissue in and of itself hasn't, hasn't really been looked at with any sort of scientific rigor. And part of that is just because we haven't defined, I don't think what soft tissue is, you know, most, most people think soft tissue is, you know, something that involves the soft tissue. So that could range anywhere. And the, the literature tells us this, that could be anything from stretching after activity or stretching after treatment to, uh, you know, foam rolling to uh, tennis ball work to, you know, massage ball work all the way into soft tissue massage, which again is, is not something that we've actually, you know, rigorously defined. So part of the issue that we have in soft tissue therapy is we haven't defined what what that is. And so that is the first thing that I think we have defined for people. We have defined soft tissue as being the process of how we, you know, start the loading process of tissue, right? Mm -hmm. And, and, and we've, we've rationalized that with, with a scientific base saying that, you know, force is is a necessary requirement for tissues to adapt we know this that's that's just sort of um some some basic science on on what tissue is and why we're human uh so force is necessary we've also found that the direction of that force is a necessary requirement therefore we can apply that into soft tissue and we've found that that has to be uh done for a certain period of time uh which we've also defined so i think part of what we've done is we've given people at least a, a definition of what we think soft tissue is and what it looks like. And then, you know, if you can, if you can go with that definition, which is far different than what most people's conceptualizations of what soft tissue are, then at least we have something to work with. 
You know what I'm saying? So at least we can then say, okay, well now let's look at what the research tells us about those re necessary requirements of soft tissue. And then we can start to say, well, that might eliminate certain things that we thought were soft tissue mm -hmm. uh, interventions. Mm -hmm. And then we can say, okay, well now let's look at what, what we think is a soft tissue intervention. And unfortunately this is where, you know, the literature itself breaks down. Because